Okay, good afternoon, you trader nerds. I told y'all to keep the market at bay. What have y'all done? We're down almost 3% in a day. It'll be still. I heard Tom and Tony this morning just bitching and moaning because they were didn't have any winning positions and it's misery and, you know, wailing and gnashing of teeth and all this kind of stuff. And I guess so. Where's my little, look, y'all, my AD is so negative. I don't even have my little guide wires here. They're gone. So, you know, but, you know, it's just another day at the factory, y'all. Just another day at the factory. So let's see how big of a hit we're taking today. Because with such a big hit, you've got to figure we're going to take a little hit. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Did we blow out our account? That's what we got to do. Did we blow us out? Let's see what we did today. 12, 22, 22. Oh, man, if you've ever had a sweet potato casserole, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got all thinking about that now. All right, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, tasty words. Let's see how we're doing here. And I think I know the secret that Tom and Tony are hiding. If you listen to Tom the other day with Dylan Radigan, Dylan says, so is the brokerage is going to be called Tasty Trade, right? And Tom said, not yet. That's what they're going to do. They're going to say, so now Tasty Trade is Tasty Live, and they're going to change Tasty Works to be Tasty Trade. Whatever. I guess people are seeing the thing Tasty Works, and they go, what the crap is that? You know, is that is that uh, cooking classes, Tasty? What does that mean? I just got how to show my net lick over here. And keep in mind, this is day two of a mood stabilizer, and I'm not exactly sure what it's doing to me yet. So we are at 37,543. Oh, no, 37,543. No Jeffersons today, but we didn't blow out, did we? It's a pretty good, actually. We're only down, what, a couple hundred bucks, 245? Okay. How are we doing compared to the market? That's what we want to say, right? Let's go see how Mr. Market's doing today. How are you doing, Mr. Market? Mr. Market is uh, 2.67, worth 6.09. Boom, baby, I'm fine. I got no problem with that. All right, so let's go do our Greeks and ratios. Our Greeks and ratios, I say. Yeah, I feel a little groggy, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm all, I don't think I'm just quite me. People, my Beth asked me yesterday, she said, are you okay? You're quiet. I'm like, I think it's just mood stabilizer. My Zapratifer and whatever my doctor's got me on this thing. All right, so our 22 and 115. Let's see how that looks. 22, and well, look at this, y'all. 22 and 115. 115, you say? Wow. Look at the, Oh, my gosh. Red. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. And our, what do you call it? It's up to 23. Wow. I wonder what my buying power usage is. Remember, we got to, sometimes we got to, I think that's right, because I just logged in, logged out. So that should be right. 21,473. 21473. My buying pair usage is 24. I said, move your darn cursor for God's sake. 21473. All right. So let's let me let me do some looking here. 57% <gasps> and 31. Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. That almost looks good though, doesn't it? Almost does. All right, so let's go see what I can do. Now. What does the plan say I got to do? First of all, I got to say, you know, hey, am I comfortable where I'm at? Or do you want, I have the permission to take off a couple of things. So if y'all notice me groggy, y'all just, just realize it's, it's medication. All right, so this little puppy here is at 99% profitable. Well, it's at 93%. I made $123 on this. Uh, oh, sweet Bobby is going to peel it off. I'm going to peel off some, some little risk here, okay? Oh, Bobby, taking off risk because I'm scared. No, I ain't that I'm scared. It's just that I'm doing the prudent thing. Let's see if I can get Phil at 75 cents. Let's just peel a little risk off. I said, let's just peel a little risk off. I took the kids out to eat today after an hour and a half of a workout today. An hour of cardio and 30 minutes of weight training. And guess where we went? Anybody want to know? Where would you think I would take my kids? Everyone went except for Devin and Indoor kid because he didn't go anywhere. Applebee's. Um, 
Devin, how did you know? Oh my gosh, it was delicious too. So I was looking up the calories for what I normally get. I normally get the Fiesta lime chicken, but not today, baby, because Bobby has not been over my daily caloric limit since November the 23rd. So I got this long streak going. And so I got the Cajun blackened salmon with broccoli and mashed potatoes, y'all. It was delicious. And then I spent 96 additional calories. So that was 600 calories. And then I spent 96 additional calories for the stir fry sauce. You, I think they call it dumpling sauce. Uh, oh my gosh, y'all, because I'm part Asian and I, it was so good. Oh my gosh, was it delicious. I was sitting there going, I could eat salmon every day. So good. I mean, now that I'm a health nut, health nut uh, you know, a former diabetic, there we go. So we're out of that. Let's see what that did for us. So now my theta went down to 111. Look at there, y'all. I dropped four thetas. Let's see what that looks like. So now I went from 115 to 111. And just like that, Sweet Bobby has gone green. I may be the greatest of all time. I just, I mean, I don't want to brag, but that, that's pretty strong right there, Bob. Look at you. Man, you are. And I took down my buying power a little bit, I would think. Let's go. Let's go see. What do we do with our buying power here? Got to go to positions. Do this. So I went to 2538. So how did I do that? Let's see, 2538. Where's Sadie at, bud? 2538. So look, y'all, I, I took that down to about $1,000. You know what? I like that. I'm going to peel one more thing off. Let's take this eight-day option off right here. Just in case we keep plunging. We're still 91% on that. Let's take this one off. Let's just peel it off. Close the position. And remember, I'm excited about closing my short-term positions now. Why? Because old sweet Bobby's going to put these out in time farther and farther away. Come on, baby. Get me out. Get me out of this mess. Yeah, I was sitting at Applebee's. And my waitress says, my daughter says to my waitress, says, oh, I love your nails. She said, thanks. I got them done for my birthday. I was like, when's your birthday? November or December the 28th. And she's 22 years old. And I said, December 28th. And the whole time during my meal, you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking, I never said this to her, but I wanted to. I said, you know what? I bet your parents were grateful that you were born in December 28th. So they were able to find me off in the past. But I was, I refrained from saying that. But I was sitting there, the time, if I had a child, I would love for my child to be born December the 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, because that way you can count them. Even though you only had to pay for the kid just a couple of days, like formula and diapers and all that garbage, you got to count them off your taxes for the entire year. And I wouldn't say that to you, but I was going to Hey, can y'all keep it down down there for the love? All right, so now we took our theta down to 106. Let's see what we did with our buying power. 106 and I forget how to do this every time. What do I do? And and wait a minute, what am I doing? Wrong button. Right here. I thought that was the right button. What am I doing? The crowd. I agree. Are no longer included. Wait a minute. Starting at 130. Expiring loan out of the money options are no longer included for risk analysis and blah 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 blah. Well, no longer. I don't even know what that means. All right. So now we gotta look at there, y'all. I brought it down to 19. 760. Oh my gosh. 1976. Let's just put that in and see what that looks like. 1960. So I took this down to what? What is that? 1960. 1960. Mm -hmm. And old Bobby Bob brought this down to what? 106, I think. Look at that, y'all. I mean, is that a thing of beauty or what? So now I'm at 0.28 and I'm at 52%. Huh. What would I like to do? Would I like to sit on it for another day? I think I'm good. I don't think I've got to close anything else. I think I'm going to find here. I think I'm good. What would Rick do? Rick, are you listening or has mama got you busy? What would Rick do? Would Rick close something else or would Rick, would Rick leave it like this? I Me mean, personally, I would close something else, but that's just me. Uh-uh. I'm taking Rick's advice. Y'all, listen. Rick is like the, the sage, uh, wisdom. Uh, he's like Solomon, almost of our group, right? So every now and then I'll go to Rick and say, what would Rick do? Because I like to say, what would Rick do? So I'm going to close one more. Get that down. One more. 
So we got eight days, 3,400. It's up 87%. I've made $111 on that. Why be greedy? That's basically what Rick's saying in a nice way. He's sitting there thinking, Bobby, you fat, black, glass, nine-toed son of a gun. That's what Rick's saying. But he won't say it because Rick's a gentleman. But he, in the back of his mind, he's like, man, that Bobby, you know, take some stuff off. So this is going to give me about $1,100 more buying power relief. And we'll see what it looks like. Move it up. Move it up, baby. <laughs> Come on, people. Get me out of stuff without going. Look, you, they're moving the mid-price. It's like they're watching us right now. Talk to market makers right in here with us. They know what Bobby's doing. They're like, hey, keep on. He's Because Rick told him to get out. This fat son of a gun is going to keep on. There we go. So we're out. So now, oh, sweet Bobby, based on Rick's suggestion, took off additional risk. So now we're at... 18,629, and I took my theta down to 100. Look at that, 100 and 18,629. 100, 18, 6, 100, I say, and 18,629. Okay, so I'm down to under 50%. Thank you so much, Rick. Rick has given me the wisdom to get down. And Evan's right there with him, right? He says, right there with you, Rick. So Evan was saying, hey, Bobby, do the same thing. So good. So sometimes I do ask y'all for y'all's wisdom and, and protection. Uh, so, you know, and that's the thing, y'all. I don't understand. I mean, we get about two or three signups a day, and then we get about one or two people that leave our group. And like the last comment that I, someone said when they left was like, I don't use it. I'm just not using it. And I go, why? Why are you not using what we're doing? I just think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I don't know why anybody would not like what we're doing. Because I don't know where else you're going to learn portfolio management. I just don't think they teach this anymore. All right. So I think I'm good now. I'm, I'm fine with the risk. So I've paired off risk and I'm going to stop. Now, can I say that my good friend Ed sent me a question today? He said, Bobby, where do we stand on our hedge risk or what we're doing? So yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm on mood stabilizers and off my Adderall, I sit here in front of my computer for a couple of hours and I did all kinds of analysis. And ultimately, here's what I came up with. Number one, I don't think we need a hedge. Let me repeat that again, because maybe it is a mood stabilizer. I don't think we need a downside doomsday hedge. I don't think we do. So the second thing that I came up with in my little head. Now, y'all may disagree with that, and that is perfectly fine. If you want to downside hedge, that's fine. The second thing that I came up with was this. If you do want to hedge, I think the best hedge for you would be the VIX hedge, just the latter VIX hedge. You know the cost of it. It's going to cost you about 3% of your portfolio per year. Pay the darn insurance. Just do it. Because we've looked at every way of trying to get it free and trying to do it this way and trying to leg in here and trying to do that. It's too much. It's too complicated. Even with the Sweet Bobby Hedge, yeah, you could buy a few of them here and there. But to uh, mechanically do it, I think it's going to be too hard for most of y'all. And I'm not, I'm not doubting your ability to do it. I'm just saying, y'all, we've got to eat out of Applebee's. we got to go to the gym. we got to keep Beth happy. I mean, i got to. Burn boxes yesterday. She made me burn them boxes. I almost singed my my nose hairs trying to do that. So yeah, I got all this stuff there. I don't have time to keep monitoring this and when it goes this. If you want to hedge, do the VIX hedge. We'll do a whole session on it if y'all want to or something. Like that. Just put your VIX hedge in and forget it. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. It really, really is. I looked at research papers. I looked through my own dissertation. If you want to do a hedge, do the big hedge. It's the most mechanical thing you can possibly do. If you need a hedge. Now, some of y'all may be like me and go, I don't, I don't know, man. Now, Tasty Trade had a great segment today. I think it was a, an option job segment. Talked about set tail risk. So, when IV is 20 or above, no, not when IV, when VIX is above 20, you don't have as much of a chance as having a big, humongous black swan event as you do is when VIX is under 20. That's basically the thing. So, you know, we haven't hedged this whole year, have we, really? And 
the VIX has been elevated. And remember how many times do I come in here and go, you know, with VIX at 23, 25, 27, I don't feel the need that I need to put on that extra hedge. So some of y'all are going to now do the VIX hedge because I said, if you want to hedge, do VIX. And the problem is you're going to pay for that money month in and month out. And you're going to see that just pile up. You're going to go two or three years paying for that. And then one day it's going to help you. Our ultimate hedge is what? Size. Size matters. And the ultimate hedge is keeping our size in check. If you get it too big, you blow up a can. If you keep it about right, you should be fine. Now, the second thing we talked about is if you've got a $100,000 account, so our $100,000 account is close to, what, $107,000 now, right? So what you should do is take out $7,000, put it in the old profit bin, you know, and say, man, I'm just going to do CDs and safe assets. I'm going to do treasury bills and do that. And eventually pull out your $100,000 so you're only playing with house money at that point, trying to grow your kid. Now, there are going to be some of you that are going to disagree with me today on what I've said, and that is ultimately fine. I respect your decision. If you want to sweet Bobby hedge it to death and you want to VIX hedge it to death, go ahead. I personally don't think that I that I even need it. I think I'm just going to keep my size in check. As long as my size in check, I think I'm fine. So when VIX gets down to 18, 17, 16, or maybe your program is this. As long as VIX is uh, uh, 20 or above, nah. I'm just going to control everything by size. VIX gets under 20, you're going to start doing the VIX hedge. Boom. You got something very mechanical. Then every month, you're going to spend 0.25%, not 2.5%, but 0.25% of your account buying around 10 Delta VIX calls. And then you're going to do that 220 days. Then you're going to repeat, do it at 90 days. Then you're going to do it at 60. And you're going to do it at 30, right? Just every time, you know, every 30 days, you're going to put them out at 120 days. Boom, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka. And you keep running that. It's the easiest, cleanest thing for us to do. It just is. Because Ed and I were playing the other day with all kind of, hey, what if you buy the same strike as what we sell and we do this? And I went through a complete analysis last night, sitting in here as I was sucking on my phone and eating angel food cake. And I was just like, you know what? This is too complicated. I don't have time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to keep my size small and I'm going to run my promo. So if I blow up, I blow up. I don't think I'm going to blow up, but if I do, Jack Nabbit, it got me. All right, let's go to the second account. See how bad it is. So let's go to our little Crimson account here. See how bad we're down. It's probably down a couple hundred, Jay. Let's see. 27, 845, 27, 849. 27, 849. Let's see how bad it is over here. 27,849. That ain't too bad. 27,849. Y'all, if we can withstand a 3% to the down move and lose $130 in your account, I mean, I, I don't know how you make it any better. I don't know. How can we make this any stronger than what it is? I don't, I don't think I need to do this stuff. If you want it, do. Y'all can agree with me, do great. I don't care. Uh, so here we go. So our Greeks and ratios are, as I'm getting drowsy now from my Zisperol or whatever it's got me on, I can't even know. Uh, I'm going to take my groups off so I can see my stuff. So here we've got, right, remember, don't count your, your T-bill stuff. So we've got 12 and say 69. 12 and 69, 12 and 69, 69. Come on, baby, get me in the point once. Look at this. There you go, Bob. Now, what is the VIX? Is it, is it going up, man? What is it? Let me hit my button. VIX is 21, 23, 23. So buying power usage is 16 to 60. 16,260. And I would think Rick's going to tell me over here, hey, Bob, Bob, 16,260. Won't you do like you did in the other account? Pair down a little bit of risk, maybe get that down under 50%. And I think Rick would be right. Now, Rick, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what Rick would tell me to do. So let's go find some of my short puts over here. Let's take off one or two of them. Uh, 
Let's see. Where we at? Naked puts. Naked. Uh-oh. Let me put these in the right place. Come here, little fellers. Okay. Oh, no. What is this? This is a naked. Move to group naked. I said move to group naked. And this is put them three. Move to put them three. There we go. Now we got everybody in that little group. Everybody needs a group. Put them spreads. Bingo. All right. So let's go to our naked puts. Let's see how our profit and losses are doing. Okay. So we got 188 here at eight days. Hey, we're down $9 today. Wayne. Crimea River. Let's get out of it. Let's get out of that. And then we're going to record him because remember in this account, we actually record trades because I'm a scientist and I like to keep data. So let's get out. Fail me. Fail me, Jim Bennett. How many here have never had a sweet potato pie? And if you have, would we'll say, look, Bobby, I've never had one without cinnamon and nutmeg. So that's what I'm going to talk about. I want you, oh, y'all, look at there. Out of the dollar fifty. $3,400 out at $1.50. Now, I bet Ed eats nutmeg. I bet he, he puts nutmeg on his eggs. I bet he's on his eggs. I bet Ed's eating. Mine's <laughs> a mouth. Emma, there's a mouse. Come get it. Oh, my God. It's in that corner somewhere. Donald will see it. Oh, heavens. Hold on. I did not like rats, y'all. There was a mouse in the house. My daughter will catch it, though. Please get it and don't show it over here. Beth? Y'all give me just a second. Where is it? It's over there in that corner. Just, just do something with it. Hit it or get it outside. I don't want to see it. Oh, that thing just run right over my foot. I knew I saw something out the corner of my eyes. We got a big old field in the back of our house, y'all. Oh, they love running in this house. Just get it in the face. Don't run it over here. It's in the corner. Sprinkle some nutmeg on it, Bobby. Ed, this is no time for jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here about to die of a heart attack. Ed's over here making jokes. Unbelievable. <laughs> He told me to, yeah, he told me to sprinkle nutmeg on it. <laughs> oh, Lord. That thing scared me, but it run right over to my foot and it saw me. And it, I'm not a chicken. I'm a mighty warrior, but I do not like little mouses. Man, do you not have a room to clean or something? Is there not a toilet that needs scrubbing in this house? Beth, Beth, go down to your abode, get out of my office. All right, so we close that out at a dollar fifty. You know you're climbing up Daddy's leg. So we close. No, but I'm climbing up my leg. I just don't want to see it. I'm gonna look up here where I don't see it. As long as I don't see it, I'm fine. Oh heavens! All right, so I close the thirty-four hundred at a dollar fifty. Yeah, no, he's in the corner over there somewhere. Tell him do something. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I see. Well, he's in the corner. He's, you see him? All right, get him out. Oh, Beth got lit by the dogs. She heard that. Oh, heavens. All right, he went in the corner. He's under a piece of paper. I saw him. Oh, okay. Well, maybe he went in that hole. Well, hey, get some of that putty stuff and put in that hole in. We got to stop this. Oh, whoa. Can't take it. All right. So we made $104 on that. So let's see what our buying pair is now. Well, you know we got to close more than that to get us under 50%. So let's close this one. Uh, the 3420. <laughs> Getting our buying power down, y'all. We know what we're doing. 3420. Ed, do you like nutmeg or not? I I just got a feeling Ed's like, Ed's like, no, that's, that's no. one of my favorite things. Okay. I was just no. wondering. You I don't even know what cinnamon. I'm using on. Yeah, yeah. I like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cinnamon's way overrated, y'all. Now, I had some rice pudding <laughs> last night, some Choco Richo. You buy it in the store. And it had a little cinnamon on it last night. And then I thought, that rice pudding was good, 130 calories. Yeah, it was a night before Christmas. And everybody was stirring in Bobby's house and putting the mouse. Yes, Evans. Oh, I don't like them things. Y'all remind me one day to tell y'all about the story of when we had a bat in our house. That's one of the funniest things ever. I actually put a blanket over me 
wrapped up in duct tape and anyway that's a that's a bad story all right so we're out of the 3420 at $1.55 $1. I don't know how you survive on a farm if these little creatures bother you that much <laughs> oh I'm bothered by all that kind of stuff I don't I can't I, I'm and I'm weak at stomach too right I can't like I used to deliver pigs, but I, I can't deliver goats and stuff for some reason. Well, remember, the only reason I've got a farm is because I thought my kids were like animals, and now they're too lazy to mess with them. So, But I do love my little animals, even though I've got a problem with all my uh, chickens going missing now. You know, my rooster's dead. Something's like killed. And now my orange chicken's gone. We bought 19 chickens. Remember the other day when I had 19 brand new chickens? Guess how many we got left? One. Something's going town, baby. And I think my pigs are eating them. But Beth says, no, they're too sweet. They would never eat them. I said, Beth, I'm telling you, once a pig has a taste of a chicken leg, it is hard to get Mr. Pig not to eat chickens again. So I think that's what's happening. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So then I had to take the darn neighbor's dog. He comes over here today and he kills our chickens. And so I got him in the truck and or in the car and we took him back and had to put him in their pen because they weren't at home. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, it's just like one thing after who got time for that? Did you catch do you just stay over there, Emma, so he don't run over here with me? All right, so let's see where our buying power is now. Ooh. I've got a sleep study tonight. I've got to spend the night at the hospital. Uh, I hadn't had one like probably since 2007. I wear a CPAP, but I need to have it adjusted, I'm sure. So I got to go tonight. So we're at 13223, and I'm glad. I don't want to sleep in this darn rat infested house with some darn mouth trying to kill me. 13223. It's not trying to kill you. Well, I don't care. You don't know what people things do to you while you sleep. Oh, look there. I put it. Look there, y'all. We got it under. We're just closing two trays. We went from 58% to 47%. We were at 45 yesterday. I'm fine with that. Now, where this looks really good is when we go to the realized returns because, remember, we're closing these profitable trades, so that just makes my realized returns go up. So we're at 53, 11, 45. Yes, nice. How are we doing compared to the market? Let's see. The market is at... 13.15, we're up 1%. Remember, that takes into account our SPX trades, all the other dumb trades we were doing before the end of the year. What are you saying? <laughs> all right, it's, so a it's a marker short. A oh. marker. Oh, oh. I feel like I'm about to pee on myself. All right. I wonder I didn't pee on myself when the darn rat ran out. All right. What was I doing? Oh, we got to look at the other camp now. Uh, that type of sticky strap from my foot. Yeah. Sprinkle nutmeg in a circle and you keep it crawling into your zone. Yeah, I'm sure rats don't like nutmeg either. Unbelievable. All right, let's see how this cat's doing. Jeez. That's what's enough. All right, 106,829. Darn it, 106,839. Crap. I was in the 109s. 106, what did you say? 106,839? I heard the said they sent you a bath, Bobby. Yeah, Beth. Beth, go, Beth, go clean something. I'm telling you, I'm about had it. What do I say? 106, 839. Beth, thousands of meetings out of work. You trying to be funny down there. Unbelievable. So we're down 171 in this count on 3% down there. Beth, they don't want to know stuff I'm here. Well, sometimes you need to be the man of the house. I'm doing that. I'm preparing you for when I cross over to Chili Jordan's tie. All right, so we're at 17 deltas and 142 thetas. Beth, Beth. Beth? I, I think we need to have a Beth show sometime. I think Beth needs to stifle herself. Beth, go drink you some macchiatos with seven pumps from Starbucks or something. Five, 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 five. What? 45, 40. So that's a bl unbelievable, y'all. Look, we are at, wow, this, is this right? We're at only 42% in this account and 142 here. Is that right? Let me check that. I don't think that seems really good, doesn't it? So in the IRA, we're at 14, 140, and 45, 762. 
Hey, who's someone's trying to print something out of my printer while I'm doing my class? Forty-five seventy-six. Forty-five seven zero six. So look at this, y'all. This account's really in good shape. I don't think I need to close anything here unless Rick tells me to. Rick? No, it's looking good to me, Bobby. So you wouldn't close anything because we're under 50, right? We're, uh, we just got my theta. Remember yesterday, I was like, man, I'm going to have to put on a new trade today. But I don't see it now, y'all. We're at 0 0.13. Everything kind of went back into line. And y'all, here's the good thing. Look. We're worried about how we're going to survive a 20% move down. That's what we've been saying, right? And we're down 2.5%. Y'all, I don't know. I feel good. I don't know that we need a hedge. I think we know how to navigate out of it. We know how to reduce buying power. We know how to extend duration. I don't know. I don't know that we need it. Y'all can convince me otherwise. And maybe it's because I'm on move stabilizers. Maybe it's because I'm terrified by this rat that just ran over my foot. I, mean, I don't know. I just, I think we're okay. If you want the peace of mind, if you can't sleep at night, put it on. Put you a hedge on. That's fine. I just don't think we need it necessarily. I'm willing to maybe sprinkle in a sweet bobby hedge here and there. I hadn't figured out a way to uh, mechanically do that. If you want something mechanical, which is what y'all want while you're at the bathroom, at the factory, or the cubicle, then the VIX hedge is the way to go. And remember, the VIX hedge is very, very simple. And a matter of fact, if y'all would like, I could add it back to the spreadsheet. I'm going to send out a new version of the spreadsheet for the first of the year. Uh, uh, Rick wanted me to do that. Do y'all want the, the VIX hedge in the spreadsheet where it tells you here's how much you've got to allocate the VIX hedges? I can put that in. Pumpkin Man says, yeah. Okay. So I'll put that in. And that shouldn't slow down the spreadsheet at all. It should just, you know, you can use it if you want to, uh, delete it if you want to. But the VIX hedge is very simple. You go, you, here's what you do. You go, my count is $100,000 or whatever your count size is. Let me run through it really quick. Uh, if your count size is $100,000, right? Then you're going to take 0.25%. So how much is that? $250? Right. And you're going to buy $250 uh, of VIX calls at the 10 Delta at 120 days to expiration. And you're going to repeat every 30 days. So that you have a ladder of VIX calls at 120 days, then you'll have your next group at 90 days, 60, and 30. And under most circumstances, you just let them expire, unless all hell has breaks loose and they are enormously profitable, and then you take them off. That's the hedge. That's the hedge. So let's show you how that would look like, right? First of all, I'm not exactly sure that 0.25% is 250 because I can't do math in my head, even if it's an even number like that. So $100,000 times 0.25%, which means 0.25 times 0025, right? And the spreadsheet does the calculation for you. Yes, it is 250. So what you would do is go to your trade tab, go to VIX. What are your closing criteria? Yeah, you don't close them until they go to expiration, unless, Wayne, we have a nuclear war and they're worth enormous amounts of money, and then you close them for profits, right? But under normal circumstances, it's going to be sunk money. You're just going to lose, lose, lose. So here's what you do. So let's say you want to start it today, right, in a $100,000 account. You're going to go to VIX 117, and you're going to go to the 10 Delta. Now, this is the only time that I use Delta, right? I don't go with 10% probability of being in the money. We got $250 to use. Now, why 10 Delta? Well, that's what we were taught, and that's what I researched in my dissertation. Remember that? So what you would do is you'd buy enough of these to be that that's $59, right? So you buy five of these. Two, three, four, five. All right. Buy five of them. That costs you, well, four, I guess, with all the commissions and stuff. 
Yeah, 59. That's not uh what is four of these? $238. That's what you do. And then after 130 days, you would or after 130 days, after another 30 days, when this gets down to 145, gets down to 120, you're gonna buy them again here. And then when 180 gets down to 120, you buy them again. So you basically are laddering these in every 30 days or so. And you let them expire. And you that's just over the course of 120 days, what that's gonna cost you a thousand dollars. And it's gonna cost you a thousand dollars times three, three thousand dollars a year. But hey, you know, how much money have we made in this account? You know, you sit here and go, well, that ain't too bad. How much money have we made? Okay, we've made eleven thousand dollars. So out of my eleven thousand dollars of profits a year, this would be less than by that by three thousand. So I would have made eight thousand dollars this year. Okay. You know. And we get that because three percent divided by twelve. So we say three percent of our portfolio divided by twelve months, that's the amount that we do, and that's the point two five percent. Everybody with me on that? How much profit? Uh, you'll know. Like most of the time, they're not going to be profitable at all. They're going to just going to be loser, 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 and you're probably going to go three or four years loser, 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 and then you're going to be like, "Why am I doing this every month?" And then you'll stop, and then Armageddon comes, and you're going to wish you had them all. But remember, I think our situation is: if we can handle a three percent down move, I think we're good, y'all. The circuit breaker is going to kick in, what, 7%? So maybe I'm down $400. Okay, woo. I can close some things. I can roll things out in time. I think I think we're fine. I just think we're good. I think we're good. We hadn't worried about it all this year. Why are we worried about it now? Okay. All right, good session, y'all. Y'all have a good day.